Hello my soccer universe, it is time to review all the jerseys for the German Bundesliga season 22-23 and for me this is uh, special in so far as I have 15 out of the 18 uh, Bundesliga teams in my collection which is the most for any league this season so I'm very very happy and even the uh, missing three are well within reach but there's a World Cup coming up that takes a little bit uh, of a center stage at this moment but I may complete the uh, 18 uh, dur during the season but let's see how it will go in any case um, I selected all the pictures that you will see in this video uh, online I made three sc screenshots my main source was of course footy headlines but uh, for some reason they don't have the Puma team so I got the, uh, the pictures from there and if I couldn't find a picture with just the jersey, but it uh, was on the mannequin, I went usually to the club store webpage or whatever, got the picture from there, and there's only one jersey so far that, and it will be the very last one in the fourth part, <laughs> that I have not yet um, found a nice picture. So by the time uh, I edit it, it might actually uh, be that it's all nice. So uh, that's how I got the pictures. Um, how did I then uh, do the teams within the videos? Now, first off, we have here 18 teams, which means we have two videos. The first two where we have five teams each, and then we have two videos where we have only four teams each, which actually is quite nice in a way. Um, and then I take last season standings and I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and and it's on. And you know, for video one, I take all the teams with a one, video two, all the teams with uh, num number two, and so on. And so, in this video, we have Leverkusen, Freiburg, Frankfurt and Augsburg. And because we do it in alphabetical order, it's of course the other way around. And unlike the previous video where I had all five teams, here I only have three out of four, which is, yeah, a little bit of downer. But hey, I'm wearing Frankfurt, my new uh, white Frankfurt uh, jersey, which was the away jersey back in 12-13, I think. As I said, we'll start with Augsburg, who have a very adventurous home kit. Honestly, when you see it in match, uh, it is always a little bit epilepsy inducing because there's just too many uh, hor horizontal lines. It's like the Bayern kit, but taken to the next degree because you add the third color. Now positive, the sponsor actually fits with the color scheme overall. The negative is clearly, it's just way too many colors, way too many stripes in there. Uh, you have uh, the red, then you have white, you have green, you have white, you have red, you have white, you have green, white, and again red. And then to top it all off, there's a gradient within the white, uh, within the red. One that actually goes like a reddish, uh, uh, you know, a reddish green or whatever. Uh, it is just, boom, it's a whole lot, a whole lot to take in. And all I want to say to the, about this jersey is that my wife saw this, I think, on the first or second day of, of the league season. She said, don't even think about getting this one. And I got to be honest, there is a part of me that uh, slightly would s I like to edit for the novelty factor of it. But it is so bad. It is really so bad. If they would, instead of having the, um, you know... Just take white, green, white and do it once. Don't double it up ag again. Get rid of the reds uh, in the middle. I think that this would actually look a whole lot better. But this way, this epilepsy inducing. It's just odd to look at. And then to top, top it off, uh, the back and the sleeves are just not fitting. So this is one of the worst jerseys out there. It doesn't look like that necessarily in play unless you look closer. And then there's just so much movement. It's not good. It is really not good. This is just clearly way too much. And I'm sorry, Augsburg. Uh, I I have it. I have not seen a really, really good Augsburg jersey uh, as of late. I actually really like the old one where they had white and then the green and the red uh, off center stripe. I think that looked really, really nice. I don't know what they're trying trying to do uh, with that one here. Um, two stars. I want to give them for it. They are trying so, so, so something. I could go one as well, but uh, two stars. Uh, on the flip side, the away jersey, despite it being completely template, given that the sponsor is green and the sleeves have an interesting pattern, it looks miles better. I actually, I actually find this very, a very enjoyable jersey overall, together with the full color crest. Actually, this could work. I actually think uh, I, I would have loved if this is the home jersey. Uh, so yeah, I think this is one. Mm, yep. 
can get on board board with it. I actually want to give it seven. I really like the, uh, the, the the sleeves are interesting and actually work well in this context. However, then we look at the third jersey and it's just bland and boring and everything. Uh, all the life sucked out of it, gray and black all over. Uh, it's something that will never, never please me. Is it a bad jersey? It's not bad per se, but it's the colors that are really, really bad. It's not as bad as the home, home, home jersey either, but I cannot go higher than three here. So a very, very mixed bag for Freiburg. Let's go to the team that I'm, I'm wearing in Frankfurt, who decided and I assume they have decided this before they made their run in the Europa League and they won it suddenly in white. So let's make a white home jersey. It could be that last minute they, they even decided, okay, let's switch the home and the away jersey to make it now white, the home color, because they won the Europa League. And that also meant that I had to get, get out and get this one. Now, the one thing with Frankfurt home jerseys, as of late, I'm sorry, my nose is kind of tickling me a little bit. Uh, Frankfurt's crest is red. But they have been putting black on it uh, ever since I can. I think the last time was in the 1920 season, the Corona season, where they had a red crest, which bugs me a little bit because I think uh, this jersey could have used a little bit red. Other than that, simple as simple can be. This is the Nike template that I don't like, but here it actually looks quite, 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 quite nice. You have the black and white color. Uh, same thing on the, on the sleeve because it's just just a tad more red. The only red is there's the Bundesliga uh, logo and the DPT logo which actually it works quite well but give me a tad more red somewhere else see this jersey we have a little bit red here which makes it immediately more interesting and the crest is also adds a little bit a little, little bit more red you have all the three clubs colors in there that's my gripe with that the devil so for a little bit lack of imagination and i i really Honestly, Frankfurt has been entering into my absolute top favorite Bundesliga teams as uh, over the years. I, I actually think they have a chance of, um, uh, you know, su superseding Bremen and Schalke the way they have, have been going. But this is just uh, an interesting but over boring five star jersey. Uh, the away jersey. And I cannot get rid of the thing. This was planned to be the home jersey and then they switched it uh, if I think about it. Uh, it's a typical black Frankfurt jersey, and I want to have a black Frankfurt jersey, but it should have been the one from last season. I really, really liked like 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 one, and and I didn't want to spend the sixty for it, and then it just sold out under my nose in my size, and since then I cannot find it any, any anymore. So if you uh, have that one or see you see the one, please please let me know. <sighs> Again, the red is missing here. I do like the pattern in there, although it's not very Frankfurt, it's just uh, the template, I think. Um, and yes, we, we are very used to black Frankfurt jerseys, but uh, a little bit is missing for me here. So I almost want to go the same five-star way that I have been going before. The most interesting probably is the red jersey. Yeah, see, red. Frankfurt in red is, is great. But again, black eagle. <laughs> although here it would be too much red. Uh, and I have to say the pattern makes no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense, but I do like the colors for me. Red and black for Frankfurt is all always a good com 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 combination that I will always be drawn to. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't quite do it for me. I mean, a little bit more consistency in the pattern would have been nice. However, it's the, it's, I think it's the best one of the three of them. Uh, so I'm gonna go six here. A very, very average look. And I think for a Europa League winner, Nike just delivering such a... Um, Average jerseys is a little bit of a shame, if I may say so. And that storyline continues with Freiburg. Freiburg now is uh, a second season with Nike. And again, they get a template shirt, which per se is not a bad thing. And I have to also say, this jersey has potential. However, what is this white feathery stripe coming down the middle? It makes no sense whatsoever. Honestly, if that wasn't there, and yes, we had uh, differing uh, widths here, I might moan about it, but I actually think this would overall look all right. But this looks just, uh, uh, this is a classical WTF. And completely outdoes the really nice feel I get from the sponsor, just having outline fitting very nicely in there. And yes, Kazoo is uh, trying to expand now to outside of Great Britain already has uh, shut down the business and I from what I hear uh, that sponsorship might not last long 
there is really there would be a lot to like but i have to say this nonsensical striping it just turns me off and we saw it already with augsburg where they have this weird gradients here we have weird gray gradients in there. what's wrong with nike this time around uh this year nike is really 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 bad and so uh just for the inconsistency and it not making all that damage you know make a normal pinstripe jersey make a center pinstripe we have a beautiful jersey then this way i'm sorry i'm sorry it just uh barely scratches four i'm 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 have to go three here i'm i'm, I'm sorry to say uh, and the black away jersey uh, also has a gradient in there. Now, uh, not as bad as the home jersey, but it looks weird. Don't you agree? And it looks a little a little bit boring. You see the Freiburg jersey I had up there uh, with the quartered look in gray and black. I think that looks a whole lot more interesting because it has some... Here's just uh, gradients moving over. For me not liking a black jersey nah, this is a f uh, it's a four it's just bland it's just bland it's just bland fortunately we have the third jersey which similar to augsburg has the same interesting sleeves in white and in black uh, also fits well with the crest i know the club's colors are red and white and this is a german thing where the club's colors don't necessarily uh correspond with the colors that are worn uh on the on the kit like hamburg still I have to say uh, this one I always liked and this was always a pleasing shirt for, for me to look at. Maybe you could put a touch of red in there. Uh, I wouldn't be fine if this, but this were red and black uh, shoulders. I think that would also look, look nice. But I think this is a seven. That is a Nike template that I actually like. There are not too many out there, unfortunately. Which leaves us with the last uh, team in Leverkusen, who now switched from Jaco to Castore. Uh, Castori, however you want to say it. And this might be one of the best Castori kits that I've ever seen. I mean, Leverkusen, you cannot do much wrong, but uh, if you give me a red Leverkusen shirt with full color crest, you already are doing the right thing because that we, have, we haven't seen in, in a long while, despite this wonderful uh, red and black striped jersey. I think they're doing a lot of things right here. Then there's also a kind of a wavy pattern in there. So there is some interest there. Um, I gotta say, this looks quite nice. Very similar to that Yaku jersey, which is also, I think, among the first Yaku jerseys out there. Um, I do like that one and I don't like many Cal 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 Castore shirts. Um, it's for me a straight seven. Uh, didn't mess it up, didn't mess with it. Again, the away jersey, I do like the overall, the black with some patterning in there, make mix it. but why does the Bayer pill need to be black? There is not much color in the Bayer Leverkusen logo. You don't need to have it, um, you know, this uh, monocolored and then it looks like a negative. If you switch the black and the white outlines there, I actually think this could look nice and also gives a little bit more contrast because we have the Barmania that has a lot of contrast, we have the Castori a lot of contrast, but where the crest is, we have this black hole or this black pill there, which doesn't do it for me. So while there's a few things to like, I really like the black outlines, I like the patterning on there, I think it makes it interesting. Does it better than Dortmund? also has has it has to be said the crest really turns me off and uh i cannot go higher than uh five with this one and uh the third jersey yes and no <laughs> uh it's almost too simple it literally i mean i like with the crest full color i like the idea that you have one side red one side black however it's a little bit um messed up by the sponsor being all in black so the red side looks a little bit lost you try to make make it up with on the tail being a little bit red also on the black side um but yeah that makes it a little bit bland looking and i have to say i think that the picture doesn't uh do the jersey any favors either here so yeah uh it's better than the away jersey in black so i'm gonna give this six stars and we're done with part three so Please let me know which jerseys in here did you like or do you agree or disagree with the assessments that I gave you on, on these teams. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.